hey welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning i know i've been gone for a long time yet again i really do apologize for that um but thank you so much like i said for coming back and still checking up and you know just waiting for me to upload a video i guess um i'm very excited for today's video it's going to be very fun so keep on watching so to start off, I'm going to be moisturizing my face. I haven't done that step yet. And for that, I am going to be using this uh, pink watermelon moisturizer by Glow Recipe. Just add a little bit, like a little pea size. It's all you need. And then just dot that on your face and go, just go ahead and rub that in. This smells so good it smells like it has a very very faint like watermelon smell obviously um but it's it smells good you know it's not very powerful so it's not like a overwhelming fragrance so it's very bearable and it smells really nice and what i also like to do with moisturizer i just like to pat it in just so my skin can soak it up a lot better So for today's video, I am going to be using as a primer the new Anastasia eyeshadow primer. Um, I got this a couple of weeks ago and I used it once and I loved it. One thing I did learn about this is that a little goes a long way. Like, I mean that. I grabbed my brush and then like I would put a little bit of it and it was just like I had enough for both eyes and a little extra. One thing though is, I don't know if this is just a hate or something, but I don't know if you can see that. But every single time I open up the tube, like all this product just comes out and it's just like being wasted. So to apply the primer, I'll be taking this small round flat brush from Morphe and like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really wasting all the product. I think that he is like expanding it and as soon as I open it up, it's just wasting. It's so sad. Okay, but anyways, we'll go back to that. So literally, this is all I'm going to take and I'm just going to start priming my eyes. Okay, so to begin the look, I will be using the Life's a Drag palette by Lunar Beauty which is this one. So this palette has a lot of beautiful colors, so it has all the vibrant colors and then all these beautiful neutral shades. So to begin, I will be going in with the shade Hunty, which is this light brown. So next, I will be going in with a darker shade of brown. And so I will be using this e.l.f. crease brush right here. And we'll be going in with mug, you know, like when you make a cara muy fea, that kind of mug. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I just felt like cracking a really lame joke. <laughs> Ooh, that color has a lot of fallout. Okay, I'm just bringing this out a little bit. And taking that same brush, I will be going back in with the color Hunty just to blend it out a little bit more at the top. I felt like that wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I reached into my Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette, and I am using the dark brown in this one called Charming, and I am just adding that at the lower part of my crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. Okay, so now that it looks like I just got into a huge fight and got two black eyes out of it, now I am going to be cutting the crease. So I will be taking a smaller brush just to kind of map out the cut crease and then I will be going in with a bigger one to fill it in. And I will be taking this blue shade here, it's called Fishy. I really like this one because it's really vibrant. So I will be taking this flat small brush from Morphe and I will be packing that on along the line at the top here. Mm -hmm. 
that looks beautiful honestly like I really really like this color it looks so pretty so I will be going back in with that small brush I used earlier and just going over the blue a little bit and see how this turns out And I will be taking this shade here. It's a light shimmer. It's called Beat. And I will be packing that all over my lid. So my camera died while I was doing this side of my eyes. Um, as you can tell, I went ahead and added like a blue wing. So what I pretty much did was grab my ABH primer and this little silicone brush with a very fine tip from Real Techniques and just pretty much drew out that wing. And then once I had that wing drawn out, I went over with this angled brush from BH Cosmetics and then I just dabbed on or pressed on the blue shadow from the Life's a Drag palette. Okay, so I feel a lot better now that I added some eyeliner to kind of create um, a separation between the blue. Uh, so moving on, now I am going to go and go ahead and put on my mascara and then go put on some eyelashes and then we'll do the rest of my face and we'll be all done. Oh, actually no, because then we gotta pick out a lip color, so stay tuned for that. So for my lashes, I will be using some from Lily Lashes. The ones I will be using today are in the style Houston. I went ahead and finished my eyes. Um, what I did was add this blue eyeliner from NYX. This one is called Electric Blue. So I just put that in my waterline. And underneath the waterline, I went back in with Mug. I forgot to add an inner corner highlighter. So for that, I will be using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And I will be taking the blue shade from there, which is this one here. It's called Sapphire. And for my brow bone, I will be going into one of my most favorite highlighting palettes. And that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I will be going in with the shade Forever Lit. And to finish off the look, I went ahead and used the NYX Lingerie in the shade Bustier. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this. I really do hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Feels good to be back with another upload and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.